If you go on Instagram right now and you scroll through, you'll see a lot of people who are living this life where they get to travel the world, they get to drive nice cars, they get to sleep in some of the best hotels. And I'm sure a lot of people are always wondering, how is that even possible? I'm tired, I know. And for the past five to six years, I've been able to live a life where I got brands and companies to pay me to travel the world and sleep in some of the best hotels across the planet. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 ways that you also can live this life. It's possible. Five to six years ago, I was an Uber driver on the streets of Lagos, just trying to make ends meet. I had no idea what direction I wanted to go with my life, but I knew that I wasn't going to be driving Uber forever. I had no idea how to film. I had no idea how to take pictures. I was what you would call lost. But eventually a specific day came up where I picked up my camera and I started taking pictures of buildings around Lagos. And this is what spurred my journey into filmmaking. My first trip out of the country was to Russia. And I'm sure you're wondering why Russia? Well, he didn't need a visa during that period because it was during the World Cup, so I could easily get access to it. And it was on this trip that I discovered that I actually wanted to document and make videos. And after that, I came out to Nigeria, which is my home country, and then went to Kenya. And this also spurred more of that travel spirit in me. I used to watch a lot of creators on the internet then. I used to watch a lot of Sita McKinnon, Casey Neistat. And I'm like, how are these people living a life where brands are basically flying them out to go and make videos and they'll pay them to also do it. That for me was inspiring and it was aspirational. I was like, how can I live this same life that these guys are living? But it always proved elusive because I had no direction. I had nobody to follow who was doing what I was doing in Africa and I had no skill. And this was the period where I learned the first lesson that I'm going to share with you guys today. If you want to be able to travel the world and make money while doing it, the first thing you have to do is to build a monetizable skill. A monetizable skill is something you can use to provide value to people. Either it's you making stuff or it's a service that you can render to people. There are so many monetizable skills out there. There's learning how to build websites. It could be graphic designing. It could be learning SEO. It could be learning how to advertise on Facebook. It could be learning social media management. These are all monetizable skills because there are people out there who have no idea how to do these things and if you can show that you are able to do these things that you have the knowledge then people will be willing to pay you money so my journey was me learning how to make videos and then eventually using that skill to film videos for people and i was shooting weddings shooting documentaries shooting birthdays any opportunity i had to carry the camera and film that somebody was going to pay me for i was doing everything because then i needed to learn more about making videos and i needed to prove that i had enough knowledge to be able to make a video for somebody so what i would say is figure out something that you actually have in Interesting. Everybody has interest in some skill and you can always develop that interest because once you sharpen a skill that you have, you can become a freelancer anywhere across the world and that way you can solve one of the major problems that stops you from being able to travel the world and get paid to do it, which is earning income. The next one is diversifying your income. Currently at the moment, I have over five different sources of income. I make money from YouTube. I make money from Facebook. I make money from Instagram. I make money from Twitter. I make money from selling products and I used to make money from Patreon before, but I don't really use it that much. Diversifying your income as a creator is really important because when it comes to the internet, there's always an ebb and flow something that works today or something that might be giving you a lot of money today might not be giving you a lot of money tomorrow because trends change new things come out new creators come out so you need to have multiple platforms multiple things that you're making money from so that you can always sustain yourself so that if one goes down you can always make money from the next one and that is key but this will happen later down the line as for beginners i would say start with focusing on one platform first and as you go to that platform you can then begin to look at other platforms where you can also diversify build them and also grow your income so thirdly there is something that is currently trending now and this is for anybody who is a creator who might not even have up to 1,000 followers or 1,000 subscribers anywhere and it's the UGC content. So currently there are lots of brands out there who need content for their pages. They don't need the number of followers you have. They just need somebody who knows how to make great content and that's why I started with the first one which is building a monetizable skill. If you are really good at photography or you are really good at making videos, there are brands out there who will pay you just to go out there and make videos for them. There are hotel brands who want you to come to their hotel and just make videos and give it to them. You don't even need to post it on your page and they will pay you for that. It's called UGC, user generated content. And there are many platforms currently on the internet that you can sign up on and they'll pay you to be a UGC creator. The fourth way I make money at the moment is through affiliates. Back then when I started making videos in Nigeria, you know, we didn't have a lot of affiliate platforms because Nigeria, Africa, you know, 
we are always left behind in everything that all these platforms are creating and it makes it so hard for people in Africa to be able to monetize their content and get to the stage I'm at. But eventually after going a big enough platform and now currently traveling the world, I've now been able to unlock some of these sources. And when it comes to affiliate, one of my biggest affiliate platforms that I've used has been Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is a platform I use for all the music that you see in my videos. And I have a link that I put in all my descriptions where if somebody signs up, I get a small commission with no cost to them. So you guys can definitely check it out. This is one way I've been able to make money for my channel because it's just residual income. All my old videos, people still go and watch them. Sometimes people sign up. And at the end of every month, I get a check from Epidemic Sound. So other ones are audible i've not really used it that much but if you recommend a book in your video and somebody buys that book then you get a commission a lot of creators have made so much money from affiliates especially the ones in the us and the uk the fifth one which is my absolute favorite is creating a product creating a product is so essential it's super super essential what creating a product does for you is it helps you convert your subscribers or your followers into customers for example if i was to make a video and i got a hundred thousand views on this channel youtube takes a cut of 45 percent of whatever i earn on the ads on that video while they give me 55 percent but imagine i was able to convert 10 percent of that hundred thousand people to buy a 50 dollar product that's 10 000 times 50 which is fifty thousand dollars as compared to what i would make on a hundred thousand views which would probably maybe be somewhere around 300 400 dollars depending on the type of video so creating a product is super important and there are so many products that people sell on the internet some people sell merch you can create a travel guide if you're in the travel space like me i don't have a travel guide yet but that's something i'm looking forward to creating in the future so that i can earn money because my channel is a travel channel my most favorite product online that you can sell are digital products the best part about digital products is you spend some time creating one and you can sell it to one million people because it's a it's a scalable product it's very scalable and that is my absolute favorite i currently have my youtube creator academy which is basically me going into all the things i've learned on youtube over the past five years and sharing it with you guys and i've made thousands of dollars from that because it has a lot of people who have bought it and they keep recommending this to their friends as you can see from the review i'm going to put a link to it in the description below so if you're interested in learning more about youtube you can definitely check it out. Another way you can also make money if you want to get started out and travel the world is through brand sponsorships. The way brand sponsorship works is a travel brand can come and meet me and check out my channel and be like, oh, this guy makes travel content. That means he has people who are interested in travel who are generally a target market. So let's say a brand like Expedia or a brand like Booking.com can reach out and be like, oh, want you to talk about Booking.com in this video. And then when I talk about Booking.com in the video or I talk about Expedia in the video or any travel brand out there, they pay me money for a 30 to 60 second integration depending on how much I charge at that point in time and depending on my number of followers. The only thing to note about brand sponsorships is that they don't always come and you can't predict when they are going to come except you are a really big creator where you know that you're guaranteed a brand sponsorship coming every month and I know there are creators out there who have long-term partnerships with brands so if you're not a creator who has gotten to that stage just know that sometimes it might not come as frequently as you want and secondly you need to also know that you can't work with every brand because there are some brands that might not align with with your vision or who you are as a person so there's no point collecting money from them and selling your soul like a lot of creators have done in the past for you to build trust and for you to build a great audience you should mostly focus on working with brands that you actually believe in Working with brands I believe in is one of the ways I'm able to support this channel which is why I like to say thank you to the sponsor of today's video better help. I'm always in support of therapy, especially in today's culture where men are always meant to feel like they need to always be strong, even though they are going through stuff. And they feel like if they seek treatment, that makes them feel weak. And that is untrue. I wish I had found therapy sooner because for me, it has been life changing. One of my goals this year is to find a balance between work and play because as a creator, living the life that I live, it can get super stressful when you're always on the road. For me, therapy is like a massage for the brain and it has helped Help me cope with my stress and anxiety. BetterHelp also helps you connect with a therapist on the go to get a timely response for whatever you might be going through. One of the best parts about BetterHelp is if you don't like the therapist you find, you can easily switch to a new one for free. I'm a big fan of BetterHelp and I appreciate them sponsoring these videos. And today they're giving you guys a 10% discount off your first month if you would like to try out their service. There's a link in the description and clicking that link helps support this channel and get you started on what could be a life-changing journey.
The seventh way I make money, which I don't really use as much, is uh, the licensing of my stock footage. So I have a lot of drone shots that I've shot. I have a lot of footage that I've shot from all my trips across different countries. And sometimes I get different types of companies that reach out to me who want the stock footage. So like film companies, I've had National Geographic reach out to me because they needed some of my footage from the country that I went to. And I've made a couple thousand dollars from licensing out my footage to some of all these brands and companies. But this is not frequent. This is probably like one percent of my earnings every year because it just comes randomly so it's not something that i can really depend on but if you're somebody who just travels and takes a lot of pictures of different places or takes a lot of videos or footage you can definitely license this there are some who just travel the world to just take stock footage during my time in Benin republic i saw some guy who came and he just came with his camera and they were just taking pictures and they were all forgetting images that's what he came for so that's also another viable way of making money the eighth one is managing people's social media platforms if you're really good at social media management there are so many hotels and brands who don't know shit about managing social media platforms. They don't really know how to use Instagram. They don't know how to use all these platforms to promote their hotel. So if you're somebody who is really good at marketing and really good at social media, you can definitely reach out to some of these companies and basically help them curate their social media. So it doesn't look as shitty as some hotels that I've seen on the internet. Hotels really need to pay creators to help them manage their social media platforms because some hotels don't know how to do it. Everything just looks very robotic. But yeah, this is another problem that the industry currently has. And as without problems, if you're the one who finds a solution to it, you can definitely make money from it. Number nine is photographing for brands and tourism boards. If you're really good at photography, if you're really good at taking pictures, there are some hotels or brands who need photos for their hotel that they need to put on their websites or they need it for something specific. While I was in New York, I got some deals that I just didn't want to do, but there were some deals where it's like, somebody wanted me to come and take pictures of their restaurants and they were like, oh, they're gonna pay me $600 for this picture. Somebody else came, I was like, oh, they'll pay me $800 for this reel. And my time is worth more than $600 or $800 because I had a lot more videos to do for you guys on here. But if you're somebody who is starting out and you have those skills, that's easy money that you can just make off the top. And one problem you might have, which I've also had in the past, but I don't have anymore, is collecting payments whenever I are overseas. And some of the apps that I currently use to collect payments from some companies if I travel across the world is either I use a Wise account, which is TransferWise, or I use Revolut. I currently use Wise at the moment, which is my favorite payment platform. It's not sponsored, but I just currently use it. So if they see this, hopefully they reach out to me and sponsor me. Transfer wise, sponsor me, please. The last point I will make, which is number 10, is keeping your cost low. As I've said in previous videos, one of the ways you can get to travel the world is by keeping your cost low. And that is not spending your money on unnecessary stuff because you need money for some more essential things like paying for your hotel, buying tickets, eating food and surviving so that you can go out there and make content that would help you build your social media platform. You don't know whether it's the next three, four videos that you make that will blow up your page. These days, people are blowing up on reels. I've had people, you know, they'll make a reel and suddenly on Instagram, it gets 20 million views and they've gained like 50,000 followers in just one video. And imagine that same money that you were meant to use to go to that place to make that video was what you used to buy one nice bag. Like, is that what you're looking at? Focus on what matters the most, which is building that platform, building that audience and creating value for the people who are following you. Because it's when you create that value, then you have the attention from the people who are following you and then brands will not be willing to pay you money so that you can talk about them or put their products in front of the people that are following you, which is like, that's kind of like how social media works. Attention, you build attention and then brands pay you because they want some piece of that attention. That's just the formula. There are some things to note while you're on the journey of building your platform so that you'll be able to travel the world and make money while doing it. One of them is deciding on your platform. When I started out, the platform I resonated with the most was YouTube because YouTube was the place I was going to learn stuff. So my mindset was that this is the place I was going to learn stuff. This is the place where I was watching people that was inspiring me. Is there a way I could also make my own content that would also inspire somebody out there? For you, it doesn't necessarily have to be YouTube. It could be TikTok, it could be Instagram, it could be Twitter. It depends. It could even be LinkedIn, depending on what it is for you, depending on where you find the most joy. Because at the end of the day, one of the ways of building a platform is finding an intersection between what you love and what people want to see and figuring out a low barrier of entry. So if your low barrier of entry is TikTok, Instagram, whatever, build on that. Another thought process that came to my head when I was deciding on the platform to choose was which of these platforms was going to help me monetize my content more effectively. And for me, it was YouTube, because YouTube is literally the only platform that for a 
very long time has been paying his creators consistently. Other platforms, you know, they have funds. You know, there's TikTok fund, Instagram, you can only make money most times via brands. Facebook is another one too, but Facebook monetization for a very long time was not available in Nigeria. I think it's only available in South Africa and some other countries across the world. The second thing to note is also to pick a niche when you get started. So what do you want to be known for? I think for me, when you think about Thai, you know, what do you think about? You think about travel, you probably think about adventure, you think about storytelling, you think about high quality content. You think about information. I want to educate my audience. I want to inspire them. I want them to learn something from places I go and I want them to learn from my experiences. So that is what made me stand out. And I think another thing too that also made me stand out too when I started off was focusing on the stories I wanted to tell. I went and searched of stories that nobody had told before. And it's also, you know, looking at uncontested market space. There's this theory of blue ocean and red ocean when it comes to marketing or comes to building a brand. You always want to play in the uncontested market space because there it's easier for you to go than when you're in a place where everybody's competing with the same content. So for me, creating content about Africa, creating content about Nigeria was something a lot of people didn't to do creating high quality content so i went into that space and i fulfilled that need and that was what led to my rapid growth over the past five years so whatever it is that is your unique thing express that in your videos if you're really good at flying drones fly a lot of drones fly really good drones just look for intersections of things that you're really good at and that is what will now be your unique advantage the third one is focusing on making better videos you know a lot of creators are always you know we always said a go i want to get to 100k followers i want to get to 1 million subscribers i also said a go where it's like oh please you guys subscribe to my channel i'm at 752,000 subscribers now i want to get to 1 million this year but i think over my journey i've learned that the most important thing to focus on is to make better videos that's the only thing you can control you can't control who's going to watch your videos you can't control who's going to subscribe who's going to comment who's going to share and the more you keep making better videos the better your platform becomes if i didn't focus on my channel and i didn't focus on making better videos my videos will still look like this is that what it looks like now which is this So currently talking about gear, what gear do I use? When I started out making videos, the gear I was using was just my phone, which was my iPhone 7 Pro. And that was all I used to make videos. And then eventually I was able to raise enough money to start renting cameras. And from there, I was able to raise enough money to buy a drone. And from using a drone and my phone, I eventually got enough money to buy a camera. So you can get started with your phone. If you have a phone, whatever phone it is, as long as you can shoot, just get started with that. And you keep learning. I still use my phone to shoot, but I currently use my iPhone 14 to shoot now. The last video, I used my phone to shoot some scenes because I was in a situation where I couldn't bring out my camera. I didn't want people to start looking at me. So I just brought out my phone. The camera I use is a 7 I use a Rode Video Mic Pro for my own camera mic. And for my lapel, I use the Rode uh, Wireless Mic. I also use my drone, which is the DJI at 2S. That's what I used to film my videos. And for editing, I used to use Final Cut before, but these days I don't edit most of my long form videos. So I only edit the short form. So now I use CapCut on my computer, which is interesting. CapCut has a computer app, but my team, they use Premiere Pro. And also lastly, where do I get my music? Epidemic Sound, like I said before, you can definitely check it out in the description below. Now going on to another very important tip is building a community. A connected community is more valuable than just having numbers. Imagine you had five friends who cared about you, who would always be there, whatever problem you face in life. And imagine you had 1,000 friends who didn't even care, who are not even bothered, who don't give a f basically. Which one would you pick? If you go into the Bible, Jesus had 12 disciples and he was able to change the world. So the number of followers you have is not as important as how connected they are. How connected that community is, is way, way more important than the numbers. Because there are creators out there who are able to build a six-figure business with less than 5,000 subscribers or less than 5,000 followers because it's a connected community and it's a niche audience. So if the person creates a product or something that they're trying to sell, a large percentage of the 5,000 people will turn up. So quality is more important than quantity and size doesn't always matter, if you know what I mean. The last tip for me is to be willing to step out of your comfort zone and be willing to adapt to whatever situation you find yourself. I started making videos in Lagos, Nigeria, which is where I grew up. And then I moved to traveling across Nigeria and then Africa and now the world. And I know traveling can be very scary. Sometimes there are places I don't want to travel to, but I have to ginger myself, I have to motivate myself, just get up and go there because I know that it's definitely going to do 
a lot for my channel. I know it, it gets very difficult, but you need to always step out of your comfort zone because that's the only way you grow. And face your fears, go out there. If you're in the travel space, what are some countries that nobody would think of traveling to? And how can you go there and create content there? Because if nobody has thought about traveling to that place, then that's uncontested market space. That's somewhere you can go to make content that nobody else has seen before. So learn to step out of your comfort zone because on the other side of fear, is greatness. In conclusion, like I started the video, if you want to travel the world and you want to get paid to do it, you need to learn to build your knowledge. First, show your authority in an area. Prove that you can provide value. Prove that you can build a connected community. And only then will brands be willing to pay you money to put their product in front of your followers. I've made over 374 videos on my channel. And out of the 374, only probably 20 to 30 have been sponsored by brands. My focus has always been on doing the work I care about and knowing that along the line and eventually in the future, I will get paid and I will get rewarded for that work. Along your journey, you're gonna meet people who don't believe in what you're doing. You're gonna meet people who are gonna be like, oh, guy, yeah, you're crazy, like, this is not possible. How are you gonna be able to travel the world and make money while doing it? Like, I'm here, I did it. You can also do it too. Focus on your goals, focus on your dreams, and eventually you would reach them if you're willing to do the hard work. It's a lot of work, but if you're passionate about it and you love doing it, then it will feel less like work. It's still work, but it will feel less like work. It has been an honor to get paid to create work that I love, that I believe brings value to my audience. Like I said before, there are no shortcuts. No one will pay you for a vacation. Nobody cares and they never will. If you want something, anything, do the work and earn it. As long as you are consistent with working towards it over time and you are patient, you will eventually get there. I hope somebody out there who is just getting started picks something from this video and I hope it helps you on your journey in 2024. I don't really make a lot of long ass videos like this, but well, <laughs> she happens. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. If you loved it, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.